In this video, we are going to learn how to set up Microsoft Authenticator application as a second factor authentication for your Microsoft 365 account. Step one is to open any browser. I'm using Google Chrome and then navigate to portal.office.com. If you are previously logged in with your Microsoft account in this browser, it will directly take you into the home page. But if you are not logged in, it will prompt you to sign in. And that experience will be like if I am in this private window where I go portal.office.com and it will prompt me to sign in. I will type my email address and then my password. Since I already have multi-factor authentication configured, it is prompting me to complete the 2FA. And after successful verification, I am logged in. On this page, on the top right, you will have your name initials, like I have for NS, or you will see your profile picture. Clicking on that will reveal the view account option Select that, wait for the My Account page to load. Once this page is loaded, select Update Info under Security Info. And then on this page, you have option to add two-factor authentication methods. I have a few options already there. I have my phone, password, authenticator app, and a security key. In this video, we're going to add Microsoft Authenticator as another sign-in method. So I click on this add sign-in method and then I will select Microsoft Authenticator from this list of options available to me. This will open this small window where I have an option to download this Authenticator app. If you have not installed this application on your phone, you can click on this download now button which will open this new tab where it will show you the options to download it either for your Android phone or for your iPhone. You can open your phone camera app and scan this QR code and it will take you to the respective app store. For Android, it will take you to Google Play. For app Apple phones, it will take you to the app store. Once you have the application downloaded and installed on your phone, you can come back to this My Sign Ins tab and then click on the next button. On the next screen, it will prompt you to follow the instructions on the phone. So open Microsoft Authenticator app on your phone and then click on uh, the plus button on the top right. After that, select work or school and then select scan QR code option. When I'm scanning this QR code, it has added this uh, on my phone successfully. If I scroll down, it is the last one that's right there. And then on my computer screen, now I will click on the next button. As I click on next on the computer screen, I have a number provided. It says approve the notification and type the number below, which is 48. And as you can see on my phone, it is asking me for the number to enter. So I will enter 48 as shown on the computer screen and click yes. Now it is going to do the face ID authentication. If you don't have face ID and you have pin, it will do that. And now with all that done, I am approved on my computer and I will click next. And now you can see on the computer screen, I have the multi-factor authentication app there and if i refresh it will also show me that it is an iphone where i have added this the next step is to change the default sign in method so i will click on this change button next to the default sign in method and from the drop down available i will do app based authentication notification 
this will set the phone app notification as the default method and next time when I sign in after entering my username password I will get the notification on my phone to approve following the steps now you have successfully registered your Microsoft authenticator on your phone and it is now also set as the default sign-in method for your two-factor authentication thank you